it seems like what I'm getting from God is a lot of family stuff right now. There are many of you who are parents, who have parented children that you may barely know. Some of you are on your last leg and you know who your children are. But for some reason, you find it extremely difficult to approach that painful area of your life. Well, it may hurt you to readdress it. It may hurt you to, and to begin a contact, a connection with that child, even if they're 30, 40, 50 years old, or if they're five, six, or 10 years old. What I, I feel to tell you this, you need to do this because as much as it hurts you, it has done major damage to that child, be they a child or an adult. The damage is deeply rooted. And you connecting with them, allowing them to vent even their anger towards you, whatever the case may be, because their anger is from hurt. Allowing them that chance and you humbling yourself and apologizing can bring so much healing to that child. You have no idea the good you could do because the damage is done. But much of that damage can be undone and the rest that needs a supernatural intervention, God can take over from there. But if you really, really care, and if it really matters to you, I believe God will bless you. There will be ex extended mercy for you for taking that time to lay your feelings aside and deal with the feelings of the child, the adult, whoever that son or daughter is, who you have done deep damage to. See, damage can cripple, damage can paralyze, damage can sabotage a person's destiny, damage can destroy the, the ability for one to even have their own identity, for them to even know who they are. Oh, boy, if you could just understand the damage that can be done. And I'm not trying to rub it in your face. I'm not trying to lay a guilt trip on you. What I'm trying to do is shift your focus from what is convenient for you, what is comfortable for you, to realizing you owe your child a chance to heal from the damage you've already done. Ask God to make that happen. Ask God to give you the courage to put enough love in you for them that rises above your love for yourself to enable you to reach out. They need you to reach out more than they're willing to admit. They need you. Whether they receive you or not is neither here nor there right now. The bottom line is, even if they reject you and you die 10 years from now, one day, because you made that move, it would be that much easier for them to go back and address those deep-seated wounds and one day possibly seek God for healing. But it's a lot harder when there's no effort when there's no effort from the other side. So I ask you to put forth that effort for their sake, not about you. This is about them. Some of you need to tell them for the first time in your life, I love you. Some of you need to say, I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry for what I was not able to do. I'm sorry for what I was not able to give you. This is where I was in that time of my life. And it may hurt you to bring it up, but this is not about you. We're dealing with them. 
Do you really want to undo the damage? Please ask God to give you the courage, the humility, and the honesty to bow and ask for, for forgiveness. Ask for reconciliation. Ask for understanding. Because how can they understand if they don't know? Mm, think about that. God bless you as you make that move. Amen.